Selma. You can shut some of the people all of the time. And you can shut all of the people some of the time. But not your mama. But you can't shut your mama none of the time. That's right. I don't even know what the fuck Shuck is. If you guys don't know or if you can't tell, I'm trying to do as many videos as I can do um, in one day um, because when my wife is home, it's really hard for me to do the videos because I'm pretty much focused on her. And if any of you all know, like when you're a housewife or, um, you know, or you're the primary person that takes care of home. Like your sole number one job is to take care of your partner, right? So when she's home, I'm focusing on her and, um, you know, making sure she's happy for that day or that moment or whatever the fuck, you know, it requires of me. And I understand my position and my job and things like that. So I do make sure that uh, my 100% focus is on her, right? And, um, oh yeah, I'm looking at good times. Do y'all remember Malona's husband, Ray? Hey. Hey, Ray, you're just Mr. Well, um, I Look at this piece of shit. I saw you. <laughs> well, I do have a lot of work to do. He is a piece of shit. Well, that's the body. Look at this piece of shit. Oh, look at this nigga. Pierre, the feet. The man. Dick, bra, the cool. She's like, uh, milk and sugar, look at coffee, right? Yes, sugar. Oh, man, you're so. She should hit his ass in the fucking head. M Thelma? That's right, baby. Piece of shit! Piece of shit! Oh, look at this nigga. She should hit his ass in the fucking head! Thelma? That's right, baby. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. That's right, Florida. You know your baby. Is that true? Say the truth, girl. Uh, bullshit the baker man. Fuck that. You know your daughter. That's right. Tell your mama. Don't make the same mistakes so many little girls made. You know, something happens. You can't let it go away by pretending it did. That's right. I used to always tease him when I was a little girl. No. You're a woman now. There's a big difference. But nothing happened to us. Like I told you, nothing happened. Uh-uh. So, uh, you 
you can shut some of the people all of the time. And you can shut all of the people some of the time. But not your mama. But you can't shut your mama none of the time. That's right. I don't even know what the fuck Shuck is. Nothing, Mom. Nothing. Nothing happened. Look at Thelma's edges. You don't want to hurt Malola, is that it? I love it. Jesus, look at her edges. She loves him. They will get married again. Nothing. Nothing. Uh-huh. Fuck you. Yeah, let's talk. Oh, no, we gotta cut. I'll see you later. Come on, baby, let's go. Oh, up. but before you go. Something happened between us two. Oh, well, what, do you, what do you mean something happened? Don't get out of here, Lana. Don't want to say anything because she doesn't want to hurt you. And I don't want to see you get hurt either. Oh, hey, what are you really talking about? Come on, baby. He just did the same piece of shit. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, baby, you listen to me. Listen, to what are you trying to say? All I'm trying to say is Ray has not changed. He was a piece of shit before, and he's a piece of shit now. Shit, well, let me tell you something. I didn't have a Ray, okay? I didn't have a fucking Ray. That um, dude that came back, is it? Was it her ex-husband? I think it was her ex-husband. But the dude that came back in her life that had them eyeballs for uh, Thelma. Chow, 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 chow. But um, at any rate, guys. Um, I wanted to talk to you about my kimono, right? If you all see me, you see most times I have this kimono on, right? And I wanted to give you um, what uh, the purpose is for the kimono, right? And I know like some of you guys are like, uh, well, it's probably your house robe or something like that. But yeah, you're, you're pretty right. But um, let me say this. I told you that um, I had a grandmother that lived on Capitol Hills. She was a Scorpio. And um, she was not to be played with. She was a very, very strong woman. But at the same time, she was very, very feminine. And that's where I get a lot of my housewife tendencies from. Even though my grandmother was pretty much the breadwinner of the home, uh, pretty much she took care of everything while maintaining her femininity, right? I mean, my grandmother was the type of person to uh, get up, get dressed every morning, whether or not she had to go to work or not. I put her little lipstick on, make sure her hair was done every day. She ain't put on heels, but she did have on like um, a nice pair of slippers or um, something like that. And when she would cook, she would always either put on a nice frilly apron or uh, one of her house dresses, which I inherited, or one of her house robes or whatever, which I inherited after um, she passed because pretty much it was like my brother and my dad and they didn't want it. But um, it was so many beautiful, frilly things that my grandmother had. And now that I'm older and now that I cook, pretty much I cannot cook without some type of robe on because what I feel like is oh you know some hair particles could have dropped you know I don't like these outside clothes and, and germs near my food when I'm cooking it and you know I know it sounds crazy but for some reason I just I just cannot cook or or um, do like house chores or something without my um, kimono on. And I know you guys see it. But she looked nice every single day. And by the way, my grandfather <laughs> was a Pisces, right? Uh, my grandfather was a very handsome man. Um, he was um, part, he was black and he was majority black, but he had a lot of, uh, not a lot, but it's some Fil Filipino in him also. So, um, 
yeah pretty much the house the house robe thing the apron thing the um you know looking nice for your mate thing is something that i got from my um, grandmother on my father's side because um i admired her like she took her beauty and her clothing and dressing nice and being appropriate like every day me being nurturing and um, me wanting to you know keep family close that came from Hilda the Great but um yeah I'm I, I, I it's something small but I just wanted you to know that you know because I know you're like why has they always got this kimono on child when I get up that's when you know I'm fitting to do housework when I got this damn kimono Special way.